Welcome to another Soccer Down Here 1v1. Time to catch up and get acquainted with Naples United. A couple of things that we needed to discuss with them as uh, part of the NPSL and hanging out with us. It's uh, Veronica Dosio and Enoch Shawunmi. It is the VP and the club director of Naples United. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us here for a, one, uh, for a 2v1. My mistake. This is a 2v1 situation we got here. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, it's great to be here. All right, so uh, Veronica, first things first, since you are vice president, uh, I'm going to go with rank here. We'll start with vice president here. Uh, I know that there were a couple of topics that we wanted to have on the table, but one of the things I know that has come across the board is that there is a, a new partnership that's really exciting for Naples United. Go ahead and explain what it's all about. Sure. So um, Naples United has established a partnership with Paradise Coast Sports Complex, it is the new state-of-the-art um, sports complex in Southwest Florida. It's um, specifically in Naples. Um, it will have over 20 uh, soccer fields, uh, training fields. It, will, it also has a state-of-the-art stadium with um, seating for 3,500 people, but then they'll be able to house at least 10,000 people in the stadium. So that will be our, our home um, in the 2021 season um, where we will play the Open Cup and also the NPSL, as, along with other friendly matches throughout the year. What attracted you to Paradise Coast and how, much, how long was the negotiation? How many times were there uh, folks sitting on opposite ends of a table? How long of a, a discussion was this before you guys got everything signed? Well, there was a few in-person meetings uh, with Sports Force, who is the manager of the of the stadium. Uh, we also met a few times with the Collier County um, to be able to see this through. And then um, within a few weeks, you know, we, we were able to, to negotiate something that both parties thought it was fair. And we went from there. Um, we are, you know, the good thing is that us, as well as uh, Sports Force and Collier County, we've all three have the same goals, which is growing soccer in our community, um, engaging with the youth, engaging with the community. So I think that's what made the negotiation and the partnership really, you know, happen and um, exciting for all three parties. And it was just something that was very natural, per se. Enoch, let me ask you this. For those who aren't familiar with how soccer is embraced, there on in Naples and in Collier County and there on the, on the coast, go into the, the relationships and just how involved and how supportive that area of Florida is when it comes to the sport. Well, soccer in just in Florida is huge. Obviously they've got the weather all year round, whereas you see a lot of other places like the New Yorks and stuff. The, during the winter months, there's not that availability. So for just to play the game all year round, Florida is just um, it's just like a hotbed of talent. We, like, it's, it's too much available for them in terms of fields, weather, and everything just coming together to produce talent. Um, with the Paradise Sports Complex and what we're, what we're trying to achieve is really just access a lot of players who may not have the opportunities that we are able to provide whether they can, they may not be able to afford club, so we can get that social inclusion um, with all the all the, the kids that want to play the game and and love the game. And like I said, this uh, the area is just a hotbed of talent, and we want to help to produce um, to produce great talented soccer players. And I want to get into that growth in, in just a little bit, but Veronica, let me ask you to be the first team in. Naples history to earn a berth in the Open Cup. Obviously, that's something that's a great source of pride. What's it like to, to add that to the, the levels of success that Naples United has experienced so far in their history? Well, for us, for us it's something, it's very important. Um, just being able to provide our community with that excitement um, to have those kids have somebody, you know, have a team in Naples that can provide them with that exposure that it's necessary in order to, um, you know, motivate them and also be able to reach, you know, their full potential when it comes to their soccer career. 
So and one of the other things in Enoch, I wanted to, and I want to ask both of you about this to get both of your perspectives, but Enoch first, uh, one of the things that uh, I, I stumbled across in my research was the notion of, you know, sponsoring you soccer players together we can because every child matters. And, and I wanted to get into that because I know the, the three of us know, and, and anyone who listens to this knows about how important it is to continue to grow the game. And, and one of the tenets that we have uh, at SDH is rising tide lifts all boats. And, and when you see something like a together we can initiative, knowing how important it is, to, to be there as a part of the fabric of Collier County. Uh, I, I guess, Enoch, let me start with you. What's it like when you get to see someone who is a, a young soccer player and you get to see that light come on and, and you get to see them embrace the sport and you get to see them really see what it can be? It's, it's just huge. It's just speaking from my own experience, um, just growing in London where I was able to play the game as a, at a very young age. And the transferable skills I learned along the way that allowed me to just become the person I am today, and just in work, in business, on the field, and the communication, the interpersonal skills, the social skills, the communication skills, all these elements allowed me to become um, a better person, a better player, and, and, and better all around in, in terms of business. So I think what we're really trying to achieve is give these kids that exposure to the game, and like you said, once that light comes on, they is 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 something meaningful that their life has changed. And Veronica, what about from from your perspective to see a franchise grow, to continue to be a part of the fabric there, and understand from the beginning the idea that every child does matter, that you want to continue to expose as many to the game as you can, and obviously the relationship with Paradise Coast helps in that regard with all of the, of the extra space and all the extra stadium and everything. But what's it been like from your perspective to see something like this be a part of the fabric of Naples United? Well, it is, it is extremely important. Um, I'm a mental health counselor by training. So um, I know very well the impact that participating in sport can have in the development of a youth, of youth, um, especially at risk youth. Um, being able to be part of something that's like a, a club that represents your community uh, provides motivation, um, provides um, a, a sense of belongingness, um, and it, it's just extremely important. So the reason why the, the, the team was founded um, from the very beginning was be able to, to provide this opportunity to the youth in our, in our community. Now, uh once again, hanging out with us, uh, Veronica Dosio, Enoch Shawunmi from Naples United, the VP and the club director, as they've got a couple of, of really cool things going on in the NPSL. Now, now Enoch, uh, let me see if I've got this right. Luton Town, Bristol City, a uh, bit of cup of coffee with Sheffield Wednesday. We won't get into them currently with what's going on right now at the bottom of the championship. Uh, Leeds, Falkirk, Tranmere, Knotts, uh, Torquay, Plymouth Argyle, uh, and a couple of other places. Did I miss anything? No, you, you've got it pretty spot on. Okay, so uh, what's it been like for you now as a club director to see the game not only grow in all of your, in all of your spaces uh, over there in, in the European theater, but here in the States? What's it been like for you as a player and now as a club director to see the game grow and evolve to where it is on both sides of the Atlantic? It's, it's, it's interesting just moving over to the U.S. and, and seeing the development and seeing um, how the development of young players is, is done over here and then trying to, trying to create an environment where it's similar to that in the U.K. and similar to that in the rest of the world. Um, it's, it's been an interesting journey for myself. Again, on, on the field, is like, it was my dream to play. I turned pro at 21 in an unusual part. So for me, it's about creating pathways right now for young players who are aspiring to go further in the game, take their game to the next level, whether it's getting scholarships to university or whether it's, um, whether it's going pro. So for me, is uh, I'm just trying to give all my knowledge and experience um, of what I've gained over a 15-year period to, to the young players of Collier County. So then, Veronica, let me ask you this, and I guess this is the crystal ball question. When you look in the crystal ball, with this new relationship that Naples United has with Paradise Coast, with the initiatives that are part of the fabric of Naples United, making sure that the youth 
understand what soccer can be five, ten years down the line? How would you like to see Naples United and all of these initiatives continue to grow to add to the fabric of Naples United and what Naples United means, not just to the NPSL, not just to the Collier County, but to soccer in general? Well, um, in, in five years, we, we would like to have the community fully engaged, um, to have everybody come out to the field to watch us, um, to just be part of the community in the sense of providing identity, um, providing a, a sense of, of belonging there of, you know, that you have something that is represented to you, not only national, but also internationally. Um, and being that inspiration for, for the youth and um, also that, you know, that binding factor that, you know, a club that represents a community provides its, its um, population. So then Enoch, let me ask you this. When it comes to this year, this has been obviously one of the toughest years across the board, regardless of what we're talking about and having to deal with COVID-19, COVID-19 concerns and all of that, as a club director, how difficult has it been for you in that particular uh, part of your life to continue to make sure that things go as well as they can there at Naples United? How how much of a challenge has it been for you this year? It's it's been a big challenge. As you know, the, the kind of the whole country stopped for a period of time. And so obviously when we're trying to build something, it delays the processes. Um, we're looking at, like we said, the, the funding and the sponsorships and all of that has been delayed. So what we're trying to really do is just at this moment as well, is just galvanize the community. It's like we're coming out of, um, like you say, COVID-19, but it's a, it's a place where we need to work even harder to ensure that these kids that we have um, in our county and in our vicinity are able to enjoy something off like out of um, where they're at right now. So, you know, a lot of the mental health issues that Veronica mentioned before is, is going to be, is even more of an issue now. So it's like galvanize, galvanizing the community, galvanizing businesses, galvanizing parents, kids as a whole, and let's push this Naples United dream going forward and making sure that they have like identity, they have belonging, they have a, a team to come support and they're learning and growing as individuals as well. So, Veronica, if anyone wants to keep in touch, whether it's socially or in person, how, how, do, how do folks uh, add themselves to the, the databases of Naples United? How do they keep track of what's going on at Naples United for folks that want to continue to learn more about it? How do they do it? Um, they can visit our website. Um, there they will find a, a place where they can enter their email address and they will automatically be in, in our databases and we will send regular information about everything that's going on within the club. Um, they can also email me. Um, my address is v.docio at naplesunited.com. And they can also um, visit our social media. We're active in Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and we will also be updating through those sources. All right. So from a club director perspective, Enoch, how do folks get in touch with you uh, if there's anything different from getting in touch with the club from Veronica, what she just said? Um, you could just reach out to me at Enoch at NaplesUnited.com. Um, you're on the website, like you said. I have my own Instagram, Enoch underscore show on me. Um, yeah, so we, we're, we're really connected, obviously, socially on the social media platform. So it's easy to kind of find us. And we're, we're here. We're available. Um, we're ready to talk. We're ready to help the community. So just please reach out and, and see what we can do together. And that's the latest out of Collier County, Florida. Naples United, naplesunited.com, Naples United FC, and the NPSL. Veronica Dosio, VP, Club Director Enoch showing me. Guys, thanks for hanging out with us for a 2v1 here on uh, SDH, and we'll be keeping an eye on things. Good luck in the Open Cup next time around. We'll be keeping an eye, and we'll catch up soon. Thank you. I appreciate it.